Hi there everyone, it is currently the 25th of September 2011 and out here in the Western Pacific today we have several areas in the tropics continuing to watch today. First and foremost we have Typhoon Neset or Pedring here just off in east of the Philippines. Actually JMA and Pagasa still have this at a tropical storm yet JTWC has upgraded to a Typhoon kind of leaning more towards that. The Dvorak intensity has already upgraded this to a 4.0 TCI or about sustained winds of 65 knots and that's one of the main techniques you use to uh, see the sustained winds of tropical systems out over the sea since you don't have any OBS out over there so as for uh, right now I'm just going to continue to call this a typhoon it is definitely expected to increase in intensity over the next several hours and I would not be surprised if Pegasa and JMA both upgrade this here on their next several warnings also we do have tropical storm uh, Heizong over in the South China Sea I do really do apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong but uh, Heizong Tong is moving right now slowly off towards the north and then off towards the west very disorganized very disrupted system sustained winds of 35 knots with gust upwards of 50 knots at this time in 996 HPA we'll dive a little bit more into that in a minute first let's talk about typhoon Neset here now that is with winds of 50 gusting up to 65 knots in 985 HPA pressure so a very deep system and still deepening out here a lot of uh, inflow coming in from the south it is located under an area of relatively low vertical wind shear so really good for development with this system right now as well tracking slowly off towards the west uh, it is moving into a very high sea surface temperatures though and that is also going to increase in the intensity on this so all factors looking towards an increase in intensity on this system if we look at actually the viz and ir combined right now you do see a lot of these higher cloud tops in and around the center of circulation a lot of good inflow coming in from the south and from the north right now so overall a lot of moisture continuing to be fed in to this is a quick look at the sea surface temperatures in and around the Philippine Sea here. Uh, sea surface temperatures above 30 degrees much of this region here. So that is adding to that Latin heat and that Latin fuel that is going to feed into the system. And one re reason why it will reach upwards of almost super typhoon status, if not, does make it to a super typhoon status. But this is looking at the imagery taken this morning, showing a lot of good inflow into the system by these uh, low clouds all around it. But I do want to mention, indicated on here, is that the over the Philippines today you're actually seeing a pretty decent day uh, fair weather across this region and that could be a little bit misleading as the system does approach so make sure if you are watching this video or if you are aware of this storm to kind of uh, warn the people around you as well because this is going to be a very dangerous system as it continues to track on shore and it does look like it is going to make a landfall along eastern Luzon and just looking at the overall background flow that is very apparent of what the storm is going to do. It's going to want to pull towards the area of low pressure out here towards the west or a tropical storm out here towards the west and then start to turn basically towards the north as it rounds the subtropical ridge axis up here towards the northeast. So in that case it would cross Luzon and then start to curve and head up towards southeast China likely making landfall west of Hong Kong in the long range here. Models have slowly been drifting off towards that as well but here is the model consensus showing all these tracks running over much of the northern Philippines and then they take them off towards the northwest now Hong Kong is right in this region kind of right near this little bay here and looks like at this time all these models do point up in that direction but already noted I do the storm will track a little bit south of consensus due to tropical uh, depression out here hating pulling the storm west to lower pressure and I note that because you have the area of high pressure up here towards the north and and it's really expected to round that ridge axis but we always note that typhoons and tropical systems overall want to run the lower pressure so it's not going to want to steer to this high pressure ridge up here towards the north but this is the map I actually put together I do want to note that all the dates here are for 1200 Philippine Standard Time so this is location today at 1200 tomorrow at 1200 looking at that landfall early morning on the 27th over here near Casaguran and right just east of the Sierra Madre region here has that storm comes on shore and then continues to track off towards the west slowly starting to turn towards the northwest as it does round that ridge axis even though it is getting pulled a little bit farther towards the west as originally thought but also I do want to note the friction over the Sierra Madre regions in northern Philippines is also going to cause a westerly track here as the storm gets disrupted running over the Philippines. 
So with the system increasing in intensity, and I do have each one of these at Typhoon, and that means that winds are going to be very bad here along the east coast of Luzon, but not just that, but precipitation values are going to be a very dangerous uh, factor into the system. This is just showing the side scan from the trim satellite, uh, basically just missing that center of circulation. It does show us that some of these cumulimbus tops are upwards of 10 kilometers high, and that means that there's going to be some very heavy rainfall in the midst of this system uh, throughout the center of circulation and even some of these outer rain bands indicated over here where this says A and A this is actually an outer rain band uh, looking at some very intense rainfall in there and that is a major problem because the entire northern coast of Luzon has really been seeing a lot of rainfall the last several months. This is actually uh, rainfall anomalies and just indicated here in blue that means more than above average rainfall across that region. You can actually see up here towards southern Japan you have the last several typhoons that have moved through the region indicated those in blues. But the southwest monsoon across this entire area from Indochina over towards northern Luzon has really been plaguing the area and really causing a lot of flooding in, in across these regions and with this approaching typhoon mudslides landslides and those flooding in those watersheds areas and the low valleys is going to be a major problem as this system does move on shore. But here is showing Pegasus warning for Pedring here, moving it off towards west-northwest. Basically a similar landfall as I already noted here, uh, right around Casiguran and the Sierra Madre region. I did make this little box right in here because on the right front quadrant, that's where you're going to see those heavier uh, rainfall winds and also storm surge right up here near the coast. So a really dangerous situation here from Apari and all the way down here towards the south as well. But I also do to show you JTWC's track on this storm. They do have that landfall early morning on the 27th. Similar areas Pegasa actually shows, but they do have the intensity upwards of super typhoon strength at this landfall here. You do note that the, a lot of the winds are cut off here on the western periphery just prior to landfall. That's due to that interaction with the landmass. So it looks like those winds are going to get really disrupted over land, but it's still going to re-emerge out into the South China Sea as a typhoon. So really a very dangerous system as those typhoon strength winds are expected to maintain intensity as it moves across some moves on here but I also do want to mention these outer rain bands with the system even though you are away from the center of circulation even as far south as Mindanao and definitely the Manila metropolitan area you're going to see that flooding risk and also the risk of severe thunderstorms and we even saw earlier this season a tornado that came through the Manila area due to a typhoon earlier uh, in the spring and that caused a lot of uh, damage out there as well so I do want to mention the severe thunderstorm risk with these outer rain bands and the threat of tornadic activity away from the center of circulation. So anyone across the archipelago here needs to continue to watch this very strong system as it moves on shore. But I do want to steer away from Neset here and look at Haiting out here. And that is a very weak system, about 35 knot winds, gusting upwards of 50 knots, as I mentioned earlier. But the rainfall is going to be the major problem with this. And if we go back to that rainfall anomaly I showed earlier, you can see over much of Indochina, this area in dark blue means that they have been seeing much more rainfall than what is needed across this region and as this tropical system moves onshore it's going to bring even more actually uh, back here on the 15th six people died in mudslides across Vietnam due to that flooding rain from the southwest monsoon so this still could be a very deadly system even though it is disorganized just mainly due to the rainfall out here but it is expected to max out with a 35 knot winds and then continue to track off towards the west making landfall south of Hanoi here as it moves on shore but no already the winds are not going to be the problem with this system it is going to be that intense rainfall as it continues to come on shore but that is all for rain now everyone uh, let me know if you actually sat through this whole update it is a very long one today upwards of nine minutes long so uh, thanks for listening and thanks for watching if you did uh, if you have any questions comments or suggestions as well please post them here on the YouTube channel or at Western Pacific weather.com and also I do want to mention my forecast here is not official warning if you want to continue to check the official warnings please go to Pegaso or JMA on these systems and also continue to be safe. If you're being advised to evacuate, do so. Uh, these systems have been very dangerous this season and have been very deadly. So uh, it could be a very deadly situation yet again as it approaches the Philippines. So uh, stay safe out there, everyone, and have a great day.